Hi, I'm Marcela Kikianto and you can also call me Ra. I am from Indonesia and I'm a CMS graduate. So today we are recreating my special effects finals and I'm so excited to like do another different color theme and make it look a little more evil than my first try and it's always nice to like recreate like the same makeup with a different like look or feel. Hi, I'm Mylena Baez and I am from Seattle, Washington and I'm a graduate from Cinema Makeup School. So today we are going to do a special effects application and I am helping assist an amazing artist named Ra. So I decided to travel all the way from Indonesia to Cinema Makeup School is because I really want to further my studies and I really want to learn new skills and I feel like Cinema Makeup School really provides like an all-rounder like curriculum that is very versatile from like beauty, um, special effects, prosthetics and like digital, they have every class. So I decided to go to Cinema Makeup School because it was the best school that I had heard of and it turned out very true and I had a great experience. I chose to be a makeup artist because I am in love with like art. I have always painted since like I'm really really young, like six years old. And when I'm a teenager, I fell in love with makeup because it's kind of like painting on your face. And I actually started with body paint first before makeup. So I feel like what makes me fall in love with it is because there's uh, it gives me a freedom to create, and there's no right or wrong. You can always remove it. It's it's just it's my passion. I think one of my most favorite things that I learned at Cinema Makeup School would be sculpting because I've never sculpted properly in my life and I feel like I found like a lifelong lost passion <laughs> and I really love making like creatures so special effects was really really my favorite like class. The things I love about makeup is that I get to transform people. I get to change somebody into somebody completely new, a character and I love the fact that I can be able to express myself into them and give a little bit of who I am and what I'm trying to show. Some of my favorite things that I've learned here is definitely airbrush techniques, painting in general. I had never, I was never a painter before this, but now I've found a newborn passion. Um, and sculpting, sculpting was something totally new to me and I managed to feel more comfortable in it. Right now, me and Lena, my former classmate, we're in the middle of completing the looks for Raja Kala, which means Master of Time in Indonesian. And this creature is inspired from an Indonesian, Javanese, and Balinese god, Batara Kala, which is the god of time that travels and uh, feeds on people's fear. Me and my boyfriend, who is also my model today, James, we were brainstorming about like what was our greatest fear. And I realized that actually my, one of my greatest fears is time because you can't control time. Like it's the alpha and omega, like the beginning and the end. I feel like I'm always being chased by time, like, you know, deadlines, age, everything. It's just so scary. So I started looking out and researching on like uh, creatures or monsters that is like related to time and I found like an Indonesian, uh, Balinese, Hindunese actually, it's a mixture of everything, a uh, god that is evil and it feeds on like people's misery and like fear and he's a god of time. Creating this character was more of to like represent like one of my greatest fear and also I want to represent my country. That's why I take a little bit of like traditional elements and like kind of like mix it with a little bit of like futuristic bionic side, which is the right side of the monster. So yeah, it's more of like to represent my greatest fear. So we did this in class, but first the first one that I did was uh, orange and blue and teal colored and I feel like it was a little too nice looking. It was like the good guy in the character if it's a game. So I wanted to make it look a little more evil. So I changed the color scene. 
for the second application, I chose lime green, dark purple, and also red because they represent more mysterious vibe. And also it is very commonly used as like villain colors in like movies and cartoons. So because this is my second time applying it, I learned that I'm more comfortable with the process and I learned that I find my personal way of like making the paint job works better. Like on like, which one should I do first? Should I do like eyeshadow first? Should I do like the paint first? Should I do like alcohol paints first? Because we work with a lot of like medium, sometimes it can get confusing of like the steps. And because it's my second time, I am more confident. So it's like makeup, body paint, costume, and fabricating for like the armors. And also I did some kind of like a headpiece, which is a glued to like a wire. It's kind of like fabricating a headpiece, but also a wig because I wanted to like make it quick on the day of like application. I don't have, I don't want to like have to like trouble myself with like putting on wig. So I stuck a wig on like a headpiece. And teeth making, yeah. making teeth, monster That's teeth, like sculpting teeth. I would absolutely recommend Cinema Makeup School to anybody for people who are new, people who already have experience in it, and anybody who just loves a passion for makeup. If you guys are like keen to be a makeup artist or like an aspiring makeup artist, or to be a more well-rounded makeup artist, you guys should check out the classes at Cinema Makeup School. Thank you so much for watching. For more information, you can go to cinemamakeup.com. Bye! So how was your experience here at Cinema Makeup School?